Taking public transportation in Metro Manila is no easy ride. The crowd, the noise, and the black smoke assault the senses and make commuting a drag. But a new bus company is hoping to change that negative image. Green Frog Transport will soon roll out the country's first hybrid diesel-electric buses in Makati City. Passenger comfort and safety are top priority in a Green Frog bus, with many features not found on typical buses that fly the metropolis. But what makes it special? The buses will offer commuters a greener alternative. You know, five of my buses will emit the same pollution as one normal bus. So, will you need a car? I don't think so. You know, our buses are air conditioned, they have security cameras, they're non you know, they're very, very low pollution. We have tap payment cards. It's a significant yeah. jump from what we have right now. Yeah. Apostol also claims that his buses meet the higher Euro 4 emission standard in contrast to typical buses that are only Euro 1 or Euro 2 compliant. According to a government study, at least 65% of air pollution comes from mobile sources. Reina Garcia of the Nonprofit Institute for Climate and Sustainable Cities, or ICSC, says air pollution remains a serious problem in Metro Manila. So the effect is not only towards um, what we see on air, like there's uh, smog, or black smoke, but also uh, to our health, the health of the residents. So um, there's a World Bank study that says that uh, air pollution costs Metro Manila alone about $400 million a year uh, in health costs yeah, for health care. So lost revenue is about, I think, $20 million, yes, and 5,000 premature deaths. The ICSC hopes that President Aquino will sign the recently passed Alternative Fuel Vehicle Incentives Bill, which will spur the adaptation of greener technology. For Apostol, there is little time left to make the shift. The pollution is like cancer. You don't die right away from it. You die sometime in the future. And until you feel the pain, you don't do anything about it. We have to act now, and maybe we can turn this whole situation around. Apostol is already looking at another package of incentives being offered by the Board of Investments. Hybrid technology has yet to gain widespread acceptance in the country, mostly because it doesn't come cheap. But companies such as Green Frog are betting that hybrid is the future, and they're hoping that the government will hop in on the bus. Zach Yuson, Rappler, Makati.